the two-day Grand Doctors' Meeting concluded last evening in Kampala with several health workers and members of the Uganda Medical Association in attendance. Dear Lord, we thank you for this. President Yori Kaguta Museveni was the chief guest at the closing ceremony. During his speech, Museveni warned health workers against strikes because government is aware of their plight and they are one of its priorities. Don't cause any crisis. Because by causing any crisis, you are actually delaying. First of all, it's not necessary because I don't need any convincing that doctors should be paid well or that scientists should be paid well. I don't need any convincing. I don't need any strike. I don't need any lecture. I know it, but what can we afford? What can we manage given all these other things we, we, we can do? Museveni also explained why government almost recruited Cuban doctors earlier in the year. Then my doctors now said, oh, we are not going to work. You're not going to work. But if you don't work, people will die. Uh -uh, we don't mind. You don't mind? Okay. For me, I wanted to arrest you after and put you in jail. But these people in the cabinet, they, they said, oh, they are the ones who called me. But I was, for me, I was on uh, another, another trajectory. I wanted to do some, to get hold of you and put you in jail and bring the Cubans. I, want, I wanted to bring the Cubans because you, you, you didn't want to work. So I said, if, if they don't want to work, let me bring the Cubans. Uh, until the salaries are good, then, then the, 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 the Ugandans can come and work. It was a, it was a, uh, a transitional arrangement. Museven urged health workers to learn how to improvise with the limited resources available as he called for more graduates in the sciences to boost the health sector. Oh, they don't have this. They don't have that. I went to the bush. When I went to the bush, I did not have guns, but I got them. Me, I'm an expert in improvisation. Doing things with, with inadequate resources. Let's start a new medical school. Because these figures you are producing are not enough. Now, this 7,000 you're talking about are, my, are mine. They are my people. Who, whom I have got from Barara, from Guru now. Meanwhile, the president of the Uganda Medical Association, Dr. Ekwaro Obuku, called upon government to expedite the passing of the national insurance scheme to help the poor access medical services. But the most important, where we gave opinion about four years ago, which is a game changer in this country, is the National Health Insurance Scheme Bill. We appeal to you that, Your Excellency, you trust us to deliver this promise so that we can express solidarity with the very poor and protect them from catastrophic health expenditure, which has worsened their poverty. Obuku also reminded government of the need for more medical specialists, despite government putting more efforts on infrastructure development. I could not imagine that Moroto had this superstructure as a hospital, but without specialists. So, Your Excellency, for the avoidance of doubt, you have invested in the physical infrastructure. You have also invested in the human capital infrastructure. But we as doctors have failed to connect these two. And as Uganda Medical Association, I pledge to you, we will work with the Ministry of Health to connect doctors to the public health system. During the doctors' conference, several people were awarded for their efforts in improving Uganda's health sector. I need to mention that since this is a scientific conference,